Welcome to this clinical skills lecture on assessing for heaves, thrills and bruise. This tutorial expands on the previous one on assessing the apex beat to look at the other abnormalities found by palpation and auscultation away from the precordium. In this tutorial we will cover the patient positioning and setup, what make up heaves, locating and appreciating them, what are thrills and again locating and appreciating these before finally going on to the nature of bruies and locating and appreciating these. As assessment of these aspects will occur during routine examination, the patient should be positioned initially in the normal way, although movement away from this may also be required. Heaves occur when a cardiac chamber is dilated and or hypertrophied either due to a change in the chamber itself or in response to changes in the structures around it. Right and left ventricular heaves occur with outflow obstruction and systemic and pulmonary hypertension. A left ventricular heave is best appreciated with the hand flat across the base of the heart and is felt as a diffuse sustained lifting of the chest. A double outward movement in the same area is characteristic of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. If the hand is then rotated to rest over the left parasternal region, a right ventricular heave due to hypertrophy can be appreciated by a sustained lifting in this area. A thrill is a palpable murmur and is caused by turbulent flow through a valve or vessel that is so marked as to produce a vibration that can be assessed by the hand. Recurgitant legions do not lead to thrills. As can be seen, a thrill is best appreciated with the flat of the hand or fingertips, and the chest should be palpated over each of the areas that are used to auscultate for murmurs. It can be appreciated that this can be linked in with the assessment of heaves and the apex beat in one fluid motion, as will be shown in the video. A bruy is an audible turbulence within a vessel usually due to stenosis and can occur at any point within the body. In the cardiac assessment the main areas to concentrate on are shown in this diagram i.e. the carotids, the renals and sometimes the femoral arteries. A similar sound is also heard in the context of coarctation of the aorta. The carotid is best auscultated with the chin slightly raised and the patient asked to temporarily stop breathing to remove the sound from the trachea. Both sides should be examined and if necessary the sound timed the pulse. A bruy sounds the same as a radiated dejection systolic murmur and therefore examination needs to include assessing for this. Renal and femoral bruies are heard by listening over the relevant areas as shown. A coarctation is often heard best from the back and should be correlated with other relevant signs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have learned from it.